Hello everyone. So if you have been following my videos, you know that we already spoke about Lambert and Diffuse Mode and Lambert Wrap. Now today we're gonna talk about Oren Iyer. Let's check that one out in shaders. Let's first hide this one and open our shader. So this is um, where we stopped last time. So let's just clean up this little bit. Um, so this one, you know that it's the same as this. So let's just get rid of this and let's keep only for the implementation of both Lambert and Lambert Wrap. Um, and then it, let's expand uh, on this one. So if you go and check the source code of Kodo implementation for Oren Naya, so this is uh, what they have. Let's just fix this real quick. Now let's make it work. So here's what they are doing. So they're getting L.fe and then they get S and T. And here they get this Sigma. Looks like that they want this to be checked. Um, let's not worry about that. So here they call it Sigma 2, it's not exactly Sigma, it's just the variance, so which means it's the parameter. It's a bit of math, but let's just make it consistent for our studies, otherwise it would be very confusing if we start looking for Sigma 2 in the internet. Um, and then they extrapolate. Okay, so here, okay, now that we got got that out of the way let me see so they are trying to do to make the diffuse to look like c and dot l times this term um it's all good except that the diffuse color and b it's been transformed yeah so the issue here is that the diffuse brdf is a float and then we multiply here so let's get that so let's talk about it so here we have the light color the light color is a vector 3 the diffuse color is also a vector 3 the diffuse brdf is a float and the attenuation is a vector 3 so if you're not aware of that uh, I think I already mentioned that in another video but uh, under the hood the the gpu is transforming the float so nowadays uh, all of the gpus pretty much uh, transform floats to vector tree when doing multiplications so you get that out of the box of pretty much all brands now um so this is an implicit conversion i don't really like that so let's make it consistent and let's move it up here so now we're gonna end up transforming this or converting this to vector tree in any case so we might as well just make it so it's explicit and then the future myself will thank me so he doesn't need to figure out and search the internet on why this works um, so now we know too and um, diffuse brdf so now it's all working and over here we should have orinaya as the kudo implementation so let's just make it clear as well implement oh my god it's wrong here as well so from the previous video okay so now it's fixed um let's call it orin Loyal. and now let's compare to the other one yeah so see no difference at all so this is pretty much the implementation that Kodo have um, but then one may think yeah so this is not Orenoya but except it's not uh, we're gonna need to navigate to the Wikipedia to understand why Okay, so this is the Wikipedia for the RNIA reflectance model. As you can see, 
and this is the formula um, to implement this and as you can see if you start to compare both let's go back to the code here real quick and then you you do see here that we are multiplying and then we have some other terms here and then if you check code implementation actually what they have let's go back to the browser is that they are implementing something else what they are implementing is this foreigner improved from Yashiro Fuji and then if you navigate to the proposed formula so this is what they implemented I had to check so this is um, the initial paper for generalization from Oren and Aya so I had to check exactly how they did it so they have two implementations one very compute expensive and another one a how they call it a qualitative model yeah so here you can see that we have both models um, one of them is slightly different um, and but on, it's also less expensive so there is a better comparison here proposed by Yashiro Fuji where he shows that uh, quite clearly what he's proposing is that let me explain here so the blue line um, here you can see it's the full implementation and then there is the qualitative so all of this is the original implementation this is the blue line is very expensive and the qualitative is it's uh, an improved or a more efficient implementation and then what um what's his name Yashiro Fuji is, is suggesting is the red line so you can see here in some cases it's even on top so it's exactly the same and it's um in some other scenarios it's pretty much it's close enough um without increasing the computational requirements for that but there are some edge cases where it loses um, you see here that the blue line is painting and both models does not yep so there is that so let's see so this is the formula that Godot implemented um, and this is the formula that uh, the real or in our implementation and this is the qualitative it's not the expensive one so there is no reference here to the expensive so if you want to go to the paper <coughs> if you want to go to the paper it's quite clear here how to implement the full model but then you need to do that by yourself because it's not used pretty much anywhere I think um, having said that let's implement now the qualitative or the real or an OIA and then let's compare both so here back to Godot so the major difference I'm gonna need to put side by side what we are doing here so major difference here is that we have that one one is 0 0.5 So this is the A and B terms. So this is the let's put in here real or Naya from Wikipedia. Let's make it cap now. Okay. So this is what again, so this is what um one would expect to see when it selects Orenaya as the diffuse mode and you can see here if we turn the other one on so this is what Godot implemented 
which is not exactly Orenoia. This is Yashuri Fuji implementation, which is an improved version of Orenoia. But um, the purpose of this video is so that you are aware of what you are trying to achieve. So you need to know what's going on under the hood. All right, guys. So that's it for this video. Um, I hope you now understand better what Orenoia is and what is exactly implemented in Godot and how to achieve the real Orenoia in Godot if you want to. So leave the like if you like it and don't forget to subscribe to support this channel. Thank you.